Hey everyone, it's Brittany and Katie with the Q Team in Rochester, New York. We're here today with our FAQs, frequently asked questions that we get from our clients. Um, this one is from sellers that we we kind of get quite often, and mm -hmm. it's should I or can I um, be home for the showings that are on my house? Yep. Brittany. So, so the short answer <laughs> is we highly recommend that you are not there. Yes. Um, mainly, I mean, we obviously work with a lot of sellers and buyers. Um, when we work with our buyers, we find it much more comfortable. Our buyers feel much more comfortable and um, enjoy the showing more when it is just them and their realtor. They're able to them. feel themselves there better because they're not feeling like they're being watched. Right, or they're in your house. Right. The biggest thing for sellers that we try to tell you, which is why we tell you to depersonalize and declutter and neutralize and all those things, is you want the buyer to feel like they are in a house that could be theirs, mm -hmm. envision themselves there, see their things there, all of that. When you're there, it feels like your house. So yeah. as a seller. Like their guest. Mm -hmm. And we don't want that. We want them to walk through and be able to kind of talk freely, you know, talk through things with their, mm -hmm. you know, significant other, if they're their family or wherever, whoever they're with, their realtor, and kind of, I guess, think of it as their house with their things in their space. And another point to that is that if there are things that they would change about the house, they sometimes feel like they can't say it because they don't want to offend the seller. Um, or if they, if the seller is there, sometimes they talk a lot um, and they try to say like, you know what, I just did this brand new kitchen, but it might not be the buyer's taste. Mm -hmm. So they might just, you know, be focused on what the seller's saying instead of focusing on the house. Mm -hmm. Um, and another, uh, what was I just going to say? I do not know. Uh, I don't know. It'll, <laughs> it'll come back to me. <laughs> but I guess the biggest thing is that you want the buyer to feel as comfortable as possible. Oh, I know what I was going to say. There it is. Um, timing wise, you want as a buyer oftentimes to be able to take your time. I mean, you'll have oftentimes a 30 minute showing block. Not every buyer takes up full 30 minutes, but some really like to. They really like, you know, they like to open things up. They like to, you know, walk through the house a few times. They want to really like experience it and feel themselves there. Yeah. And when someone is there that is, you know, that the house not belongs them to or the realtor, <laughs> whether it's the seller or their listing agent or someone, oftentimes they can feel like, oh gosh, like I'm I intruding on them. Yeah. I should hurt speed. I this feel up. like I'm inconveniencing them. Yes. And and if for some reason the seller has to stay, you're a seller that it's hard for you to get out of the house. Um, or sometimes there's multiple pets that the seller chooses to just take outside rather than loading up in the car. Um, if you have to be home, we ask that you step outside mm -hmm. um, and just stay out of the way because it makes buyers feel much more comfortable um, just and less awkward, so really. Better. Yeah, totally. Uh -huh. um, so I guess the, that's an easy answer for us. Yeah. Oh, another one is sometimes they say, um, the sellers want to know like, but I don't want people going through my stuff. That's that's one that I've heard before, yeah. and like there's their agent is with them, yes. um, and they don't they don't allow them to go through. Right. So you, their you know agent's walking through them the whole time. They're with them. Yes. They're it's, they're showing them the house for you, so that that type of thing doesn't happen. If it's a scheduled showing, um, you can rest assured that the agent that's showing it has already screened the buyer. Mm -hmm. They know that they're a real buyer. They know that they can afford the house, um, and they many times it's not the first time that they're out with them so they they know them they trust them um and that's why they're bringing them through the houses so do you have to worry for safety issues in terms of your stuff no yeah that was a good one yeah and uh, another thing um Girl, our, i know i just keep thinking of them um the lock boxes our lock boxes the um are electronic and they record every time an agent opens it up. They can only yeah. be opened by an agent. Um, so yeah. every time that I use my lockbox key, I open up one of those lockboxes. It says Caitlin Quarter opened the lockbox at X, X time. time. Yeah. Um, so that your agent can keep track of everybody mm -hmm. that's been through the house. So if for some reason there is something that ends up misplaced or missing, um, there's there's a uh, record, record of who's right. been through. And also sometimes if you think that something's been taken, Sometimes there's little kids there, so if it's on a lower shelf and it's like a little trinket, um, their grubby little hands might have moved it. <laughs> Speaking from a mom over we, there, she's like, we try. Like, that happens in my I house. know. So, my like, child. if there are children, is the agents, we usually try yeah. to keep an eye on them so that the Definitely. the buyers and the parents can actually look through the house. But there are times that that they do they just, just move, move something, over. and it's innocent. They're not trying to like make your brain go crazy. Um, they're just being kids. So yeah. So if you can, if 
I mean, if circumstances don't allow for this, we will walk you through what yeah. to do like in how these to make scenarios. It most totally. But you know, you're gonna typically we're gonna have you step out for showings or you know leave the house, take your pets. Yep. You know, just kind of make it as easy as possible so the buyer can see your house is their future home. It works out better for you that way, definitely.